Hi everybody, it's Ed with Over the Hills 2019, even though it's 2021, but okay, I'm excited and, and you know why, because I got something great to share with you guys and uh, it, it works for travel trailers and there's a lot of travel trailers out there and more than one of them and I am excited because finally I found that, you know the wobbles back and forth, you're laying in bed, your spouse or your significant other's walking around, they wobble. So, you know, this is the stabilizers, the way they come. This is basically like those scissor jacks or whatever you'd like to call it. And over time, I found that the best way to make the trailer as stable as I can is uh, not extend these all the way down to the ground to use these blocks. It just seems like the, the more the scissor is open, the more wobbly the trailer is. Now, that could be my thoughts, my feeling on it. But uh, what I want to show you is something that I tripped across online and uh, it was on Pinterest and my Pinterest skills are like that. So I lost it <laughs> I can't find it to share with you, but I can share the whole idea with you and it works like a charm. First you're going to need a couple pieces of 2x4 uh, and you can do this all for about uh, under 50 bucks. So. I got two eight foot lengths of two by four at $20 here in Arizona, a little expensive. Um, and then I found um, some hardware to attach to this. And it's cut on these 45s. And uh, you know, you can be saying to yourself, well, if you're full time RVing, how do you cut these 45s? Well, you can get it done where you buy the two by fours, like if you get it from a box store, they'll cut it for you. Uh, I bought this piece at uh, Walmart for 10 bucks and I have to confess I didn't wind up using it because it was too hard for me to do but I found somebody here locally in Corsite that just for a donation cut, cut these. So they're kind of on a 45 degree angle. Now I don't have a protractor or anything like that. I just took a square piece of paper, folded it to make a triangle at 45 and laid it around and you can see some of the marks I cut here. And uh, how I measured the 45 off the trailer is I came from the trailer frame and I just held the tape measure up down to about the 45 using that same piece of paper. And it worked out to be about 38 inches. So the trailer's already level, side to side and front to back. And uh, that's where these come in. So I made four of these. Now you could use you could use a screw, uh, like an eye hook screw, um, anything like that. I just happened to find this hardware at uh, a vendor down in Tyson Wells and it was cheap. Um, I got two quarter 20 bolts that would go through, some fender washers and quarter 20 nuts, um, two pairs of these, and essentially what I've made is four of these. And what you do is you put this up this frame, up in there, like that, except that's upside down, so I'm going to turn around. Because you want this part down here to be closer to the ground. Don't drill in the center where you might think that you should, because you're trying to get some leverage going here. Now I hook this thing up with a, a tie strap, and then we just ratchet this thing up. Now I go pretty snug with it. So there's one in each corner of the trailer. And this has made such a difference. In no wiggle in the trailer anymore. We can actually, and, and it you know, comforts everything when you're traveling and full time RVing. If you can make one little tiny thing a little more comfortable it makes a big difference for you right well this does i mean and then sandy experienced it i wasn't here at the time uh, heavy wind come up and she noted that wow the trailer is not wiggling around like it used to so it's it's really great um super lightweight too i've seen other people use jacks and 
things like that. I don't want four jacks are too heavy. So there it is. We've been using them now for about two weeks. Under 50 bucks worth of material. And the wobbles went away. We love it. I hope you guys uh, take, take it up on. You won't be disappointed. That's why I'm so excited because this is really something that you guys can do lay these two out there and really make your life a little more comfortable when you travel trailer. So that's it and thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't seen any of our other videos and uh, we're always trying to show our mistakes or great things that we trip across, please check out the rest of our channel and our travel videos too. Thanks so much for tuning in everybody and please subscribe. We love you and if you have any tips we'd love to hear your comments. See ya.